well when it's wet and fast, that likes to enjoy both surround sound, fire and sound. Bah. Okay, I'm going to have a look and see what the sound at back is going to be. Oh, God, where is this? Hello everybody, just, uh, just a quick upload, um, about last night's, um, <laughs> I'm just watching through the keyhole, uh, yes Peter, I'm naked again, there's a doll on the, on, through the keyhole with Keith Lemon, a haunted doll, and as you well know I've got a couple of haunted dolls, anyhow. I've let my hair grow a little bit just lately. Um, it's getting a bit long and it's ginger now, but I think it looks. What do you reckon? Mm. I'll keep it. Yes, anyhow. I should just turn. Keep them I know Arthur. Arthur doesn't like Keith Lemon, but I think he's a. I think he's hilarious. He's brilliant. Um. Yes, last night I went to um, do a bit, a bit of videoing um, in Dalamere Forest. You know where I went. If you uh, if you took the time to watch my video the other day when I was in the forest and I went to the lake. You know, the, I call it a swamp. It's more like a swamp. Um, I thought I'd go back at night time because I have been in the forest a couple of times when it's been dark but I've always taken a torch and for some reason last night I was in a mad rush and I forgot to take a torch. If I turn this telly down, it takes ages to turn it down. So anyhow, yeah, um, I didn't take a torch so I was in a rush and I, I didn't have any batteries charged up so I had to take my uh, Hi8 camera with night, super night vision. Um, Fantastic camera, but I can't upload to YouTube on it. Fantastic house, I'd love to live in somewhere like that. Um, so anyhow, uh, as I was explaining my car, Michael passed its MOT last week, um, and I haven't used it since, because I've been using uh, the Citroen, Cathy's Citroen. Um, anyhow, he told me, he says, um, he's had to tighten the uh, earth strap which is a, a thick wire that goes from the uh, the uh, engine, the actual engine block to the chassis. Uh, it's just to earth it, so it, so it works. If you don't have that, the engine will just even though you've got the um, you've got the live terminal, the positive, it just won't do nothing. It'll be dead. So uh, yeah, I um, was I've been driving it for about half an hour, and I noticed um, the lights kept flickering and the engine was juddering and I thought what's this and I thought hang on a minute earth strap so tried to tighten it with my hand uh, tightened it as much as I could came back on again uh, I turned into Delamere Forest into the park where the car park is and then it just died completely so I had no lights I had nothing I just had my camera uh, which has got a light on it but it's not a, f a fantastic light so I had to switch it over to super night shot to try and uh, see what I was doing in the hour uh, a bloke walked past me I saw this bloke walking down the road when I was going down there it just looked like a normal bloke but I'm sure he had a torch I'm changing hands now because my hands are getting tired he looked as though he had a torch and I thought he'd probably walking a dog and now uh, when I got to where they got to before the car conked out oh god conked out uh, he just walked past me and he walked into the forest because where you could see the barrier with the car park because it was closed he just walked in there with no light or anything and then when he got to the top end um, of the car park which is quite deep into the forest uh, a light appeared uh, suddenly a light appeared so I don't know what the, the score was there but he walked he must have been about uh, a foot away from me car as he walked past shit myself I mean I don't get scared easily with things like this but I tell you what with no torch or anything I was cacking myself in there last night and I was near the main road all right there's only a couple of cars going past every now and again and then after a while it got that there was no cars going past I was there it was about quarter past nine at night um, so I was like catching myself thinking I've got to get out of this car now to lift the bonnet to tighten the earth strap again to see if it will start the engine so only I managed to do that crapping myself using the, the light off the uh, camera which was crap so I managed to do it and I thought well why the engine's going now I thought I'll get the shit out of here 
That's why I went uh, moved off straight away because the the vibration of the engine block shakes it loose again. So anyhow, uh, I fixed it now. I've tightened it up properly, so it should be all right. So next time I go, I'll go in the big white Citroen car. It's uh, it's a lot better security on that thing. But I tell you what, even with a torch going in there, which I'm going to do next week, I'm going to take a, a nice powerful. I've got an, a one of them um, LED torches. It's only small, but it's dead powerful. I'm going to take that in there next week and go further into the uh, the forest. Uh, but I won't be going far because I got lost in there once and the police had to find me. God, it was a few years ago that. Um, but what I'll do, I'll go further in there to see uh, how it is because the noise in the forest at night, in the daytime, it's as quiet as out. The night time, it's absolutely unbelievable the, the noises that come out of that uh, forest. So... Right, anyhow, I'm going to watch through the keyhole again because uh, it's got a few things on it which are interesting. Anyhow, hope you're all right. And the uh, message to the mayor, even though I don't speak to you anymore, southern bastard, uh, I hope everything's okay. I know you you put some pictures up today which were quite distressing uh, to look at in your toilet, so I just hope everything's okay. Um, and basically that's it. Um, even though we don't basically speak anymore. <laughs> Uh, but I hope everything goes okay uh, with what your whatever the problem is. Anyway, I shall see you all soon. Bye, everybody. Ta-da. Hope you're all doing well.